Nicola Sturgeon has been warned by the leader of the Scottish Conservatives they will do everything in their power to end 14 years of misery under SNP rule and save Scotland from another reckless Scottish independence referendum. The Scottish Tories, led by Douglas Ross, head into the crunch Scottish election on May 6 hoping to topple the SNP by taking full advantage of the controversies that have engulfed the country's ruling party over recent weeks and months. During the last parliamentary elections in 2016, the SNP were reduced to a minority government, just two years after they suffered a major blow when the country voted against Scottish independence. The SNP, led by Nicola Sturgeon, lost six seats to leave them on 63, while the Scottish Tories doubled their number of MSPs to 31. Mr Ross remains confident that if his party can replicate the success from five years ago, they can pose a major challenge to the SNP's grip on power in Scotland. The Scottish Tory leader also vowed to stop the SNP with pushing ahead with another reckless referendum on Scottish independence. Mr Ross told Express.co.uk, we can stop the SNP and stop them pushing ahead with another reckless referendum. The 14 years of misery from the SNP mean so many things need addressing, education system, economy that has been ignored by the SNP, we must protect people's jobs, invest in local communities. We will highlight the dismal term in office, how they have let down the Scottish people, how the insistence on another independence referendum has meant our services in Scotland have not received the attention they deserve. Given the Scottish political system with proportional representation, a vote for a party not strong and determined to fight the SNP only helps the nationalists. If people unite behind the Scottish Conservatives to stand up to them and stand up for Scotland's place in the UK, we can stop them like in 2016 when the Scottish Conservatives doubled the number of MSPs. Mr Ross also claimed Ms Sturgeon is prioritising India if two ahead what should matter most to the people of Scotland, a quick and strong recovery from the coronavirus pandemic. But he warned Scots need to quickly realise that would be her mandate moving forward as their desire to separate Scotland from the rest of the UK trumps all else. The Scottish Conservative leader concluded, people are looking for an alternative to the SNP because they are fed up with how they have failed Scotland. They want to see our focus on rebuilding Scotland, rather than the referendum.